So I'd like to tell you a bit about government preparedness in times of crises. So first we want to look at who is responsible for dealing with the coronavirus. Of course, the right answer is all of us. The COVID-19 pandemic affects everyone. It should be addressed by working together and acting now. But the underlying question is, how do we develop a coordinated response to a global pandemic? Even more specifically, how do decision makers across the government act, one, effectively, two, cohesively, and three, on a timely basis? In situations such as the spread of a deadly infectious disease, time and the cost of getting it wrong can be too high, and you can only plan so much ahead of any particular situation. Our experience has taught us that good governance is critical in making the right decisions. And this is most important when the choices can impact people's lives. Characteristics of good governance that are visible during times of crises are first, effective. Decisions need to be based on data and resources need to be allocated and managed properly. Second, cohesion. There needs to be alignment among the different entities involved in responding to crises and there needs to be good communication among the different entities. Third, timely basis. Decisions need to be taken and implemented quickly. A great example of how good governance is exercised in high pressure situations, where even seconds matter, is exemplified by the mission control room that NASA developed to coordinate human spaceflight. This room is designed to have maximum opportunities to communicate, share information, and make quick decisions in an environment where everyone can participate and remain aligned with what is happening at each moment. These teams are not limited to space. For example, the UK Science Advisory Group in Emergencies is a rapid response uh, analysis and expert group that provides real-time analysis to the UK decision makers. For example, during the 20, 2009 H1N1 influenza pandemic, the 2010 volcanic ash cloud, and the 2011 Fukushima nuclear incident. The US Incident Command Systems seeks to standardize emergency response management across a wide range of gov US government agencies. So like NASA and these other examples, White Shield Partners has developed its White Shield Partners Navigator technology to build mission control rooms for governments. The White Shield Partners Navigator can help to share, analyze, integrate, and visualize data for decision makers so they can see the full picture and align their efforts to coordinate policy initiatives and actions. By connecting the inputs and outputs of an economy into a single dashboard with comprehensive indicators, stakeholders can operate with the same set of facts about what actions are available and what are the potential implications. In an emergency where time is critical, Deploying a rapid response unit that can visualize the data, understand its impact, and take prompt action can significantly affect the outcome of the response.